marketing in Python may seem like a strange combination at first, but as a digital marketer who genuinely loves her work, I hope to convince you today as to why Python is the perfect tool for data-driven marketers. Today, most innovative companies are fueled by data. In Korea, we have companies like Bank Salad leading the industry as a data-based fintech company and Samsung Electronics launching a big data center this year in the move to improve the use of big data and the development, marketing, and sales of smartphones and TVs. Globally, we have McDonald's acquiring Dynamic Yield, a tech company specialized in AI-powered personalization and decision logic technology in 2019, and Netflix, creatively changing the way we watch content online with its data-driven culture. As Teresa Barrera, CMO of Publicis Sapient, said on the Forbes article last month, today, creativity comes from data. However, the sense of data-driven creativity is not a unique trait discreetly shared among data science departments. In the words of Satya Nadella, CEO of Microsoft, We've seen two years worth of digital transformation in two months last year thanks to COVID-19, making critical decisions about how data will be collected, processed, and deployed is becoming crucial to marketers too as they strive to communicate effectively within the digital sphere. It's true that it became even more accelerated by the advent of COVID-19, but data-driven marketing is not a trendy phenomenon. It is a logical shift based on the changing customer behaviors affecting businesses globally. So what exactly is data-driven marketing? According to HubSpot, a global leader for CRM platform, it means marketing that uses data to inform all marketing decisions. Let's break this down into three parts. What this means is, first of all, Data-driven marketing uses customer data front and center to ensure all marketing efforts are relevant to customers. Salesforce's 2021 State of Marketing Report, which surveyed over 8,200 marketing leaders worldwide, revealed that 78% of marketers said that their customer engagement is data-driven. Secondly, data-driven marketing is an iterative process. It is not a one-time marketing campaign, but an ongoing observation of customer data and adjustment of marketing efforts accordingly. Lastly, data-driven marketing is a personalized message for both customers and marketers. Personalized message is probably one of the biggest differences between traditional and data-driven marketing. Mass communication dominated past marketing efforts. With a general idea of a target audience, marketers prepared a one-way communication to customers entailing an, I think this is what you want to hear from us, messaging repeated across all marketing channels. The most important marketing metric was making as many impressions on potential customers as possible. Data-driven marketing changes the logic completely. Now, marketers have access to customer data that allows them to analyze customer behavior. I still remember the day my marketing professor at Singapore Management University shared the article about Target predicting a teenager's pregnancy before her father did based on data in 2012. Target identified about 25 products that, when analyzed together, allowed them to assign each shopper a pregnancy prediction score. A verbal confirmation of I'm pregnant is no longer necessary for brands. Data simply speaks louder than words. Impression numbers no longer make sense, but click rate or action-taking decisions do when you can personalize the marketing message on a granular level where it almost feels like an intimate conversation based on the insights gained through data. But simply using data does not guarantee success. It is actually extremely difficult to be effective with data. There are a lot of complications and challenges when implementing a data-driven culture. However, by capturing new data, searching for new behavior relationships, and enabling rapid experimentation, 
marketers can seize granular growth opportunities and experience significantly greater ROI and resilience, as McKinsey noted in its article on March 2021. So now that we established the importance of data and marketing, let's go back to the initial question. Why should digital marketers learn Python? Let's define Python in terms of its current status in 2021. According to Statista, Python is the third most used programming language among developers worldwide. Python is the language that developers would most like to learn for five years in a row according to Stack Overflow. Most importantly, Python is consistently listed as the most recommended language for data science and data visualization along with R by academics, companies, and developers. But the first reason why Python is relevant to digital marketers specifically is for its campaign monitoring capabilities. How many forms of communication channel do you think digital marketers deal with? From emails to social media, advertising to multimedia messages, any form of digital communication falls under digital marketing. It's a lot, and most marketers are juggling. And with COVID-19, running multiple marketing campaigns at the same time is almost expected of marketers since customers expect seamless experience regardless of whether it's offline or online. This is where Python can help tremendously. Using APIs can assist marketers in automating performance tracking. Most social media platforms want to help marketers run effective marketing campaigns so that marketers spend more money on advertisement. It's honestly a win-win strategy, and that's why most of them have been openly sharing application programming interface that help marketers manage advertising accounts and campaigns. Google Ads API and LinkedIn Marketing API are provided in Python and specifically call out marketers as potential benefactors of the usage. As marketers, APIs will help you get more done in a more efficient way. Did you know that Google Organic Search is responsible for 59.2% of the world's web traffic and uses over 200 factors in their algorithm for ranking websites? In Korea, Naver is the number one search engine with 87.1% market share and uses various algorithm factors such as crawlability of the site by the Naver bot, level of on-page optimization, backlinks, and user search intent. Search engine optimization, or SEO, is the practice of increasing traffic to your website through organic search engine results like Google and Naver, both in quality and quantity. And it is probably the strongest argument as to why digital marketers should learn Python. There are existing Python scripts for SEO marketing which means marketers don't have to build it from scratch. For example, Seth Black created an SEO analyzer script, which is a tool that analyzes the structure of a site, crawls the site, counts words in the body of the site, and warns of any technical SEO issues, all available for free on GitHub. If social media APIs help you build effective campaign monitoring for paid ads, Search engine optimization automation assists with generating free traffic organically. Becoming a marketer who is effective with both paid and organic marketing would be the ultimate goal. Last but not least, Python can help marketers become marketing analytics visualizers. Did you know that Florence Nightingale was not only the founder of modern nursing, but also a data journalist. Her coxcomb chart in 1858 illustrates how preventable infections caused unnecessary death during the Crimean War and is lauded as one of the best data visualizers of our times. Her visualization helped save human lives. As a marketer, I find this inspiring. 
that data visualization had a tremendous impact on society in the 1800s, I see marketing analytics visualization changing business decisions today. This is an ongoing Kaggle task for marketing analytics data sets submitted by Jack Dowd, a data integration specialist at Elevation Education. The task asks, you're a marketing analyst and you've been told by the chief marketing officer that recent marketing campaigns have not been as effective as they were expected to be. It asks you to submit the task in four parts. First, analyze the raw data into marketing insights. Second, run statistical tests in the form of regressions and propose data-driven action recommendations to your CMO. Third, Visualize your findings effectively to highlight which marketing campaign works best. Last but not least, document your data-driven recommendations to your CMO. This is why marketing analytics visualization is important. Your data is pretty much useless without an action. And in order to take action, you need people to fully comprehend what the data says about your business and fully convinced on the next steps. Marketing analytics visualization will help you as a marketer achieve more with communication that could potentially touch people the way Nightingale's works did. I honestly struggle when people ask me, what is marketing? But so far, this is my favorite definition of who I am as a marketer and what I do on a daily basis. Marketing is the generous act of helping others become who they seek to become. It involves creating honest stories, stories that resonate and spread. Is marketing and Python a strange combination? I hope this session convinced you to say no. Python empowers marketers to optimize their performance with data. Empowered marketers help others become who they seek to become with data-driven stories. And empowered people motivated by data-driven marketing or storytelling take action. With Python, marketers can help others take action and become who they seek to be. This is why digital marketers should learn Python. Thank you.